Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Road to SSL episode 30. Unfortunately, I did uh, have some mic issues, so this is me actually talking after the fact. Um, so I already know how these games go, but you won't get to hear my live commentary, which I'm so sad about because it was such a good episode. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty big things happen in this episode right at the end as well you guys will definitely not want to miss how this episode ends but uh yeah i think this could be interesting you guys have to let me know if you like this style of video i definitely didn't intend for this to be how this video would go but i'd rather give you some commentary but this Woloski guy was quite a good ones player as you can see like he just backed off that ball there so he baited me into 15 into nothing so he could chip it over me so he's quite a good player and you guys will see why kickoffs are so important in ones. Uh, I haven't touched on it yet, but I think there was already one kickoff goal, but I can't remember exactly. But we'll just keep watching this game, and you'll see exactly how crazy kickoffs have been. So I go for a flick here, obviously a little too high. Really fast recovery, though, with that like instant flip back into the ball to just like delay him. He goes up in the air, so I'm just sort of waiting. Like, is he going to get a reset? How good is he in the air? Like, just judging my opponent. Pretty good snapshot, but he barely gets a save. So now I sort of know, okay, maybe he's not the greatest um, in the air, but we'll have to still see. Uh, I messed up the power slide cut initially there, but that almost baited him in. Sometimes not being good at the game works better in your favor. Um, and uh, ended up working out there. So baited him in a bit, cut it past him. What am, I, what am I talking about, guys? There's a kickoff goal. And that is far from the last kickoff goal of this game. I have a 40 ping advantage, as you can see. I, I love clicking on the scoreboard. Um, yeah, another kickoff goal. <laughs> so now it's 3-2. He, he was up 2-0, now it's 3-2. So I'm feeling quite confident at this point in the game. Um, yeah. Let's let's see how this plays out. He wins a kickoff, takes in the air. And uh, I thought, hey, I can challenge him. Pfft, I was wrong. He's better in the air than the first attempt he had. And I called this a kickoff goal in the live commentary. It is a kickoff goal in my opinion. He gets a really free air play where I can't really challenge him. Just flicks it over me. And so it's still technically a kickoff goal. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, my kickoff was feeling good today like you saw how perfect that wave dash went right there like look i get really low on the ball and just wave dash um but yeah that's i think the last four goals were kickoff goals three of them for me one of them for him gets a free ball again off of this kickoff however i read this really well so his thought process is i have boost he doesn't i want to go straight down the middle of the field at his net as fast as possible and i was just like okay i'll just stay here and not do what you think i'm gonna do which is go back for boost right he doesn't want to give me time to get boost and i know that so then i just turned and cut him off really good read by me there listen another kickoff goal like i know it's not directly in my net but he's a free flip reset setup where i'm kind of stranded with no boost so i have to go get boost and i'm not in a great position to challenge and he just he gets the goal and listen it, it was completely even i'd say like we were both getting kickoff goals Mine were a little more straightforward. He had to work for his a bit more. But at this rank and these types of players, uh, that those flip resets he just scored were nothing to him. Really good save on his failed air drill bump there. He fake challenges me, so I dropped the ball. So a bit unfortunate. But I barely snag a demo there. Oh, I was so, so tilted when I missed that boost. Cause it, and he spawned on the right side, which gave him a free ball. Fortunately, he messed up this flip reset right here this is pretty important i didn't go for back right boost because i was thinking i could probably just stay on this ball and i could if i was a little cleaner with my movement i definitely could have gotten something out of that but at this point i'm playing quite aggressively uh he catches me with a little demo there i spawn in i want to close the space as fast as possible he's playing well with these little cuts quite poor shot from him uh which worked out for me he kind of over commits here unfortunately like I've talked about this before, I get quite nervous, mechanically, especially in ones, and I just won't play the ball fast enough, especially on open nets like that, and I just kind of hit it a little too far to the side so he could get back, but fortunately didn't get too punished for it, other than just not scoring. I really messed up there, and like, look at it, this is what I mean, like, I just like panic too much, but here I was really composed, 
And this is something I talked about in my cozy college. I'd ad adapted to his playstyle, right? Oh my gosh. I was on gold. I've been adapting to his playstyle, and I recognized earlier in the game he scored on me by doing that, like, baiting me into 50-ing thing. And so then, right there, I just countered that by not flipping and just wave dashing to keep myself in the play. Also, right there, I recognized that it didn't... It, the boosts wouldn't have spawned for him. It wasn't a long enough time between when the last time it was picked up so then i just waited on it so that's another important thing it's just always being aware of like when you're able to or when the boost is spawning and i got a nice little challenge there good counter attack six four at this point i'm feeling pretty good i feel like i have a pretty good handle on who who my opponent is how he plays how i'm playing i'm feeling reasonably confident at this point as you can see going up for that ball quite a confident beat and just I went dead silent in commentary here. I remember being like, don't say anything. Just score the ball. They don't care what you have to say. They care about you winning. And then, as you can see, Woloski not too happy in that top corner there. But really good first game. And look who we have again. And game number two is Woloski again. He a little tilted in the quick chat. But, uh, yeah, let's see how prevalent kickoffs are in this game. Uh, and, and whether or not there is a big effect there. They play as much of a role. Actually, a good flick, but... You got a good save and like what am i doing like this is what i'm talking about where my, my mechanics just go horrible in uh in ones especially in this series good use of the inside of the goal there to get a little clearance okay, that was weird i just like turned randomly oh uh, that was so bad i remember being like what am i doing it, it was a good idea i guess to go off the inside of the goal but go for the little squishy save flipping into to build up the speed but i don't know not the greatest he gets that pad, which wins him that boost, even though I had a decent wave dash. Flip reset. Really good shot by him. Not perfect, but it was solid. But I just had a, actually like quite an amazing save. Right here, I try faking him. Luckily, he gets a slight touch on it. And what does he do here? Okay, he just taps it, which is a good play. He doesn't get my boost, though, which is weird. And then he whiffs. So at this point, I'm kind of like, this guy is not playing his best, right? I can capitalize on this. He He's tilted from the last game, as we saw with the quick chats and the text chat and everything. So I can sort of play. I, when I see that in my opponents in any game mode, I'm like, even if it's threes and I see a guy's tilted, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go out of my way to demo him a few times just to get him extra mad. Because the psychological part of the game is a big factor. That was dumb by me. I didn't. I, I remember thinking I could probably bait him into going and then beat him, but I had 20 boosts. He had 100. He's a fast player. It was never going to work. So just like last game, I'm down 2-0 once again. So a bit of come backing needed. Plays this well. See how he gets to the right of the ball so that I can't get to the boost and the ball, and he can grab both. So he did quite well there. Just got a decent enough 50 here. And a perfect. Listen, that was perfect. Do I score this? No, I don't. I got a perfect half flip into the next flip. Uh, just to cover that side of the goal. Luckily, he doesn't score on what I think was an open net there. I'm not sure, though. Just trying to control the ball here. I did actually go for a double reset there, but I think it was better that I didn't get it. Because otherwise, I probably would have not made the best play. Good 50. I tried faking it, but his mind was on the ball the whole way anyway, so it didn't really matter. I whiffed, but it worked out because he went for the boost. Good good uh, backflip there by him. Okay, here I realize I have time, so I just take it in the air, feeling confident. And that was such a good shot. That was the shot of the episode for sure. Also, I'm sorry if the quality isn't great because I'm like recording a like recording, I guess. So it might not be the best quality, but hopefully it, it works somewhat. Um, but yeah, that shot was really good, and I was like, okay. I'm in this game. And then I did that. And I'm, I am I said to myself in, in the commentary, I was like, why did I do that? He's been early flicking every fake challenge I've done. He's been falling for all of them. So why would I then change my tactic if it's been working, you know? But I did. And it cost me a goal. And now I'm down 4-1, right? Um, and I'm thinking that's so annoying. Because with the last... Th Two episodes plus the first game of this episode, I was on a five-game win streak, and I was one game off GC3. Hint, hint. Uh, and I was just like, great, now I'm just going to lose again. Right here, this is a really good play. 
you make them think you're gonna catch the ball like going down the wall there it's like oh i'm gonna catch this you're gonna have an easy challenge i won't be ready to flick but i just like pretend like i'm bad and just hit it past them and it just works every time because they'll always challenge that almost got a kickoff goal there just turn on this i see him move weirdly to my left which indicated to me he didn't have a lot of boost and he was looking a little desperate so i was like i'm just gonna double jump this if he challenges i beat him like i did if he doesn't i'll just turn it into an air dribble bump it should be a goal either way because he's low boost so that worked out quite well there ah oh, that was so bad i tried like hoping he would go for the boost and cutting it but at this level no one's making that mistake so that was just that was a really dumb decision by me but as you can see like the comeback is is not flawless right now like He's getting goals when I'm trying to come back, and it's hurting my progress. But here we have it again, another kickoff goal. This is why one's kickoff so just so important. Um, but now it's 4-5. Quite a lot of time left. I'm like, okay, this is anyone's game at this point. He's only got a one-goal lead. Hits it to me. Not a great hit by him, to be honest. And look at that beauty. Wow. No ball cam, by the way. Just, uh, or no car cam, sorry. I just kept ball cam on the whole time. Uh, to see where he was. Got a perfect little 180 flick. Took it really nice and slowly. Oh, I was so mad I messed up that wave dash there. That really upset me. Went for a demo. Luckily, I just about get back here. Don't angle. Uh, which was good. Flick early because I saw he just like... He stopped all his momentum, so he kind of has to challenge. This is a really good play. I flick it into my corner, so he actually has no play there. Um... And then I had a really, really solid recovery there. Just get the goal. Now we're winning. After being up, now I'm winning. After being up, uh, f after being down four-one, so it's looking quite good. And I know I still in the back of my mind, I'm like, this guy's tilted, so he'll falter at any sort of loss of anything. And then we did this. Oh my gosh. It, 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 it still looks good. Second time seeing it. Third time seeing it actually. Because as you'll see, I watched the replay just to extra tilt him. I had a pretty nice flip reset, which he got a very good save on. And then I was just like, you know what? I was literally trolling at that point. I was like, I'm just going to fake it. It was not the right play. Uh, because I probably could have just scored. But I was like, I'm just going to fake it. And then here I was like, I'm just going to hit it to my back corner. Waste time. Fake that. Then I go and hit it around him. But it was actually a really bad hit. I was scared he might be able to score. Here I just got a good amount of my car to dunk him. Good amount of my car behind the ball. Get some boost. 34 seconds left. So I'm just like, you know, I'm going to play pa Oh, no, I'm not. You know, I'm not going to play passive. I'm, I'm an idiot. I, I was so... I was like, what am I doing? If I throw this game from that dumb of a challenge... Ah, I, that, was, that was so brutal. And then he wins this kickoff and gets my boost. And I was like, I'm, I'm throwing this game, man. It's over. Fortunately, he really messes up his air drill bump. And I was like, he's going to demo me. I got to jump. And somehow, I got a perfect spawn. Like, perfect spawn. And then I get a nice touch. Open eye. I almost missed, but it's in. Perfect spawn there. Like, incredibly lucky. It's the only RNG in the game. And I got the dub. And I actually didn't know if I hit GC3. Because right there, it's 1295. And I was like, is it going to be enough decimal point wise? And it was. Let's go, baby. GC3. First time I've ever hit that in ones. Come a long way in this series. I think I started the series when I was champ three. So I've climbed an entire rank up to GC3. Feels so good. One more rank to go. Um... Yeah, I should go into training and do my outro, but yeah, I've got one more rank as you can see Almost GC3 in all three modes at the same time. Obviously, I've been GC3 in twos before, but um, Not there at the moment, so I don't have like that screenshot of GC3 in all three, but uh, Yeah, it was Perfect episode six wins in a row out of the last three episodes, which I'm really pleased with and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry about this lack of live commentary, but this is what you're getting because I am stupid, and I hope you guys enjoyed that regardless. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, code COZYP in the item shop. I'm, I think, almost halfway to getting my payout rewards from Epic, so that would be nice if you guys keep using it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay spicy. Peace.